Howdy folks, Indestructicon here with my beginner's guide to Skyrim survival mode. In this video we will look at creation club mods, gear, and gameplay tips that will help you out in this game changing feature. So what is survival mode? Survival mode is a game mode introduced with the anniversary edition that fundamentally changes the way you play Skyrim. It introduces mechanics that deal with hunger, warmth, exhaustion, along with more realistic carrying capacities and the removal of fast travel. I will explain more as we go along, so let's get into it. Creation Club mods are official mods that do not affect trophies, as opposed to game-breaking community mods. Some of these are really cool, and all the ones we will be looking at are free, or at least free with the Anniversary Edition. I suggest hitting download all. This will give you all available mods and they are pretty small files and will download quickly. The main ones we want are Adventurer's Backpack, which lets us craft or buy various backpacks to increase our carrying capacity. Camping, which lets us set up temporary shelter for cooking and sleeping. And Farming, which will help us greatly in cooking and making lots of money. If you are starting a new character, you might want to check out a Nord. Their cold resistance comes in very handy, but feel free to choose whatever race you like. You will be asked if you want to play in survival mode after you exit the first tutorial area. If you want to use an existing character, you can toggle survival mode off and on in the system settings menu. The first thing I would suggest is starting the farming quest. The farm offers a good base of operations while supplying food, ingredients, and much needed gold. You can start this quest line by investigating the Golden Hills Plantation east of Rorkestead. I will not spoil the quest here, but make sure you complete it all and get your farm set up with all amenities. It will help greatly. Hunger will be your most pressing issue most of the time, but it is also pretty easy to keep under control. You abate hunger by eating. While many foods can be eaten raw, they offer little sustainment and you will run the risk of getting food poisoning. Cook all your food. The main ingredient you need is salt. Be sure to buy or search barrels for salt whenever you can. In the beginning, it can be tougher to find than you think. Food sellers and apothecary shops are a good bet. When you are hungry, your stamina replenishes much slower, so bring plenty of snacks. Cold is the next issue you need to deal with, and there are several methods to deal with this. Not all of Tamriel is frigid, but the many parts that are can be quite dangerous, as cold affects your life bar, decreasing your max life amount the colder you get. As I suggested earlier, the Nord race has a natural defense against cold, but it is still an issue. Your armor is your first line of defense. Different armors have different warmth ratings. For example, fur armor may not offer much a defense as basic steel armor, but it will have a higher warmth rating. Food is another way to stave off the cold. Hot food is something you can cook to warm you up. Hot food is made in the same way as other cooked food except you use fire salts instead of regular salt. Always carry some hot food when traveling to cold climates. The last method to deal with cold is fire and shelter. Simply go indoors or stand by a fire to warm up. Carrying a torch will also help you stay warm, but only a little. Being tired is the easiest affliction to deal with. You just need to sleep. Being tired will decrease your max magic and cause magic to replenish slower. The first thing you might notice is that you can't carry as much. This can be very frustrating early game when you are trying to scrap some gold together. This is easily fixed by getting yourself a backpack. You can buy one from one of the vendors or craft one yourself. Not only do they increase carrying capacity, but also have added perks such as increased bow damage or increased stamina depending on what kind of backpack you craft. The next important thing to carry is camping supplies. Camping supplies can be crafted at any blacksmith station and will serve as your home away from home. You can set up a campsite nearly anywhere outside 
and will offer a bed and a fire you can warm up by and cook on. This can take care of all your needs out in the field. But keep in mind, camping supplies are one use only, so bring a few if you're expecting a long journey. The last thing you need is a horse. This is crucial as there is no fast travel in survival mode. You are at the mercy of the nearest carriage to move around the map. If you get frustrated, you can always toggle survival mode off, but then what would the point be? And there you have it. I hope this guide will be helpful in your survival mode adventure. For me, this is the only way to play. I have over 5,000 hours, maybe more, in Skyrim, over 10 years and four consoles, and this mode has reignited my love for Skyrim and consider it the best way to experience the game. Cheers, and thanks for watching.